Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Mindfulness Moments. This series where I draw a card from uh, Thich Nhat Hanh's teaching. And I comment on it based on my experience. So today's card, Performing Miracles. The Zen master Lin Ji, or Rin Zai, said that the miracle is not to walk on burning charcoal or in the thin air or on the water. The miracle is just to walk on earth. You breathe in, you become aware of the fact that you are alive. You are still alive, and you are walking on the beautiful planet that is already performing the miracle. The wonderful thing about these teachings is that they're so simple. The simple teachings tend to be the most profound. And part of that has to do with our mind. We don't want to accept the fact that it can be as simple as just walking on this earth, as breathing, as being alive. We want to think it's more complicated. We want to search the internet for the newest app, for the newest iPhone, smartphone, Samsung, whatever. Our mind keeps taking us away from this present moment of being happy right where we are, of celebrating the miracle of being gifted this human life, this opportunity, this opportunity to walk this earth, to feel the sun on our face, the grass between our toes, hear the sounds of nature, the birds waking up in the morning, the sun going down in the evening, the gentle breeze, these are all miracles. Of course, it's amazing that we send people to the moon. Now we're going to Mars. But the real miracle is here. And the real obstacle is our monkey mind, is that mind that's searching, that's constantly looking, constantly looking for something outside of this present moment. Present moment is all we have. And us coming together each week to share in this time, to share in this life, to celebrate this life. This is truly a miracle. The fact that we can use social media to come together to plug in each week to return to a place, to return to our breath, to return home. We often speak of mindfulness awareness, meditation. One of the practices in the Zen tradition is not only seated meditation, but walking meditation. And walking meditation is often a little bit of a break in between sitting to stretch the legs, but it's also to connect. So when you walk, you caress the earth, you feel everything below you, you feel connected. 
You notice the temperature change. You notice your balance. You notice your breath. You notice your tensions. Thich Nhat Hanh has really made Buddhism, the practices of mindfulness, particularly the practice of walking meditation, accessible to so many people in his beautifully simple way of expressing some complex teachings. And really the only way, the only reason they're complex is because of this mind. This mind wants to make it more difficult. It can't be that easy. It can't be that simple. It can't be as simple as peace is every step or just being peace. No, we have to buy the bigger book. We have to get more audio books. We have to take another course. The miracle is to be here. The miracle is to walk on this earth. And if we can respect that, I remember reading years ago, Chief Seattle saying that when the Native American people walk the earth, they caress it differently than we do because they know that their ancestors are buried beneath and they respect that. And we too should respect that. We too should see the interconnectedness of us, the earth, nature, the birds, the ocean, the heavens, and every other living being. And you know what's another miracle besides walking on the earth? having the opportunity to come in contact with these teachings, to come in contact with these teachings and to take the time, try to understand them, practice them, to see if they work for us. If they don't work, then that's fine. You let them go. But let's cherish this opportunity. Let's practice this miracle. Let's perform this miracle of being here, of being on this earth. Thank you for showing up each week. Thank you for all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. Please share, like, and subscribe to the station if you haven't already. If you have further questions or topics you would like me to cover outside of this series, just let me know. I'll be happy to do it. Thank you.